Hi, it's Sue from Create for Journals, and today we are going to walk through the Peanut Butter Lovers template, which you can find in the monthly inspiration journal pack, and this is the November 2023 edition. So let's have a look at um, some of the templates we have. So we've got the main one is just an all about peanut butter template, and then we did a fun facts template in here, and then a peanut butter cookie recipe and then just alternative uses for peanut butter. So there's quite a few things in here that you can do with peanut butter that you might not realize. And yes, definitely in dog food. Um, we always make some treats in there too. And then we've got the benefits of uh, peanut butter. So let's go back to the first one. And what I did here is I just duplicated the first one so I could keep the original. And then what we'll do is we will come to the home tab at the top go to select and then the selection pane so we can just have a look at everything and as we normally do we just hide everything and then just come back and start um, have a look at the picture so we could use this here for a journal cover and then you could just put some nice text on here and then we've actually just put an outline on it just to keep it in uh, a frame and then we put some more um, images then there's the title here so you could leave this on here we could move this down and if we wanted to make uh, like a journal cover so we could do something like that but right now i'm just going to see you know all the different elements and then you can see which ones that we can reuse again then we've got the oval another text box then we've got the connectors that we just use to divide the circle and then again some more text in here and then the little rectangle boxes and with the text. Yeah. So you can do that in here. And of course you can change any of this text to you know, make it um, anything that you like. And then we just keep going here with another picture, some more text, and some more text there. And then there's some more. So that's what we have on here so let's go back and so so one of the other things that sticks out because we have this um the circle with the dividers in it so you could actually you know if you were putting this into a health journal we could just put that into the calories so you could just go find you know your favorite brand or one of the big brands of peanut butter and then this could be you know all the different uh, calorie um you know how much fat how much carbs protein inside the uh, or sugars in the peanut butter so we could use that for that so let's just um as you go back and hide it all again and then let's just put this on here with the text and then i'm going to move this down and then this would be um all about peanut butter i'm just going to call this peanut butter lovers fits in there like that we can just move scoot this over just a little bit so this will kind of go around the jar and we can position it like that and of course if you want to you could go up and change the text we usually just give you basic text um, fonts in here so that you can go in and pick whichever one that you like and um, you know just ch uh, change them in the document if you'd like and so that's going to be the cover um then let's me just okay let's just duplicate this one again so we just duplicate it and move to the second slide and then i'm going to actually just remove this i just let's see if i can make this a little smaller maybe and again you don't have to keep these images we've just put them there to you know to give you a little uh, a start but you can always go and change the images here and then what I think I'm going to do in here is just make a journal page. So let's go to insert and then we're going to a table and then I just highlight the first column like that. And then I just like to position it where I want it first. I'm going to make the lines just a little smaller like this, and then I will duplicate. So insert below. So I'm just going to insert below and then we get a little longer here. And maybe I can squeeze in three more. Just again, insert below. So we've got 
that like that. Maybe I want it a little wider on the page. And then just pull that down to here. So we'll do that first. And then you can come in here and just change everything. So highlight the table and then we can come to the table styles. And if you just want to have the dashed lines like this, then come to the pen color and you can pick any color pen. I'm probably just going to go with white because we've already got the white background and then just do all the inside borders. And then when we click off, you've got the white in there. Now it still might be a little hard to see. So what I would do here is come back to this main picture and then we want to uh, picture format and I'm going to go to transparency and I'm just going to take it down a little bit so we can see maybe that one right there and then we can see the lines a little bit more and the other option that we can do is uh, highlight the table again go back to table uh, design and go to shade in and then pick the brown and then go back and select it again and then find the more fill colors and then we can just find a uh, a lighter shade so let's just pick something just a little lighter maybe okay let's try that and then click on okay and then just click off so now we've got that behind it there so now we can see it again you can go a little lighter if you wanted to um, so I'll leave that like that for now. So now we have some journal lines in there. Now, if we wanted to make some more here, I would just do a new table. So again, it's insert table. Let's do, uh, let's see if we can get four lines in it and then just pull it to where we want it here. And then scoot it up a little bit as well this and then again just do the shade in and we've got the thicker line there now the way to get rid of that is just to come over here you'll see uh, let's just click off of that so highlight the table go over to the left hand side you'll see header row over here so just uncheck that and then that line just becomes um, thinner already so we can leave that like that here and then if you don't want the uh, lines around the outside, again, it's just tables design, then it's borders, and we just don't want the outside, so we take off the outside border. And sometimes you have to click on it twice, I find. So outside borders, there we go. So now we don't have the border there. And if we want that to uh, go right up to the jar, we can do that as well. Now, if you wanted this to go behind the jar, I would just pull this all the way over here. And then what we do here is come to the layout and we want to send it towards the back. Right? And now you can see here, but then we've lost the background a little bit. So now what we do here is, I just so all I did was just I hide the picture so I can get to this part easily again. So this you may need to just, let's see if we can bring it forwards a little bit. Let's bring forward, put this back. There we go. So we just had to bring it forward because you've got the background image, remember, and then we've got that box that went behind everything, which we don't want. We just want it to go just behind this jar. So now we've got that um, like that. So you could leave the little text here, or again, you could make this smaller if you wanted to. So it's more, yeah, or you can have it coming, the spoon coming right off the page, whichever you prefer. I'm going to put it like that. So now we've got a journal page that we could put in here. And again, you could just keep duplicating this and you could change the columns. You could make two width columns. You could come in here if you highlighted everything and remove the rows. Or another way, I'll just show you quickly. Let's just duplicate this slide. Then let's just, um, I just like to hide elements right at the moment while I'm playing with things, because if I change my mind, I can put it back in without recreating it. So I'm just going to hide that there. And if we just wanted to have um, just a blank um, frame, so we're going to go to shapes and just grab the square and then just draw the size of your shapes. I want it to match both sides here. 
right there. And then we'll do the shape fill is the same color that we just used. And then if we want the same outline, we can do the same. Or if you want an outline that sticks out, we can just pick on that color and then come back to shape outline, put weight. You could make it more prominent if you want. So let's pick the three here. And then if you wanted, again, you could change to dashes. If you have the um, Office 360, you can actually do some like sketched outlines. So you could choose one of those. So okay, let's choose that one there. So now we've got, you know, like a nice outline here with that. And then if we didn't want this one here again, we can just hide it for now. Maybe just make this bigger. Now make it so that it covers that spoon. And then let's just send it backward. To, oh, it's not going center back. Okay, that went to, and then bring it forwards. There we go. So now you've got the spoon on top if you want it, or you can hide or delete the spoon as well if you just prefer a page that looks like that. Okay, so that's some ideas for that template. Let's go to the fun facts, bring that one up, and again, we could just change the layout. You could just add the background. So if we wanted just to keep the background color um, all the way through, come over to design and then come to format background, you fill and then you can select the color. And because we've already used that tan color is under our recent color. So we could just put that in there like that. So that changes it right there. Even if you change the fonts a little bit, that would make everything look different again. And then um, let's just duplicate this slide. And then if you wanted to, we could do a gradient. So um, now we want to keep those browns. So there's two different ways you can put the colors in. So we can actually manually put colors in here. So we would pick that, that, the, the beige color first. And then it's got another three gradient stops. So it depends on how many colors you want. Now, actually, that uh, the beige and the blue look quite nice. So we could just pull this one down and you'll see that the gradient goes further down the page. So you could just leave it like that if you wanted to, or if you wanted to have, uh, say, a color towards the bottom. And then again, you can just get another shade or something that would match. So let's try maybe a pale yellow. And then you can see at the bottom, you've got a little bit of yellow in here. Uh, then we can pull that down to make more and then if you don't want that blue that's underneath go to the very last gradient stop and just click delete so now you've got yellow on the bottom like that and again we could you know bring this one up a little bit move the blue in the middle and make the yellow um, a little bit more prominent so now we've changed the look of that and then the other thing you can do with a gradient is the type so this was linear so if we go to radial, you'll see it changes again. And then the rectangular one gives you that kind of look. A path, which is more of like a square effect and shade from the title. And that didn't really change too much. There. So usually I prefer the linear one myself. And then again, you can uh, play with it here and just change it. And then again, you can change the direction and I'll show you here. So if you wanted it to go straight or across and then we can have it on a diagonal as well. So you can play with all of that and that makes it look different from the original. And again, you can come in here and change out the uh, background again. So another nice thing is now that we, um, we've created this one page and we want to just duplicate the slide again. And then we can just hide everything. And I just want that background so we could make the journal pages again. So this way we could just come literally up here and just copy everything here. Let's just copy it, bring it down to here, paste it. And then we've got the journal pages and we can just insert some more lines underneath. And we could change the background here to the table design, the shading, 
Um, if you wanted the gradient, um, it doesn't copy the gradient over, so you'd have to just go back and copy these numbers again. But let's just go with the eyedropper. Let's just pick that color for now and see what that looks like. Or you might want to do the blue. So you would just come to shade in. You can even put in textures. If you wanted the table background, so we could just, you know, do it that way too. That's changing it a little bit here. I'll then pick up the blue. And if you wanted to kind of get the in between the blue and gray. So now we've got that, um, that feature in there like that. So that's another way you can make the pages look differently. And then for the peanut butter one cookie recipe. So I wanted to show you, we can take this and then we can actually uh, make a um, recipe page. So let's just duplicate it for now. And then there's two different ways you can do this. So we could start from scratch on a blank slide. So we could just start from new and then just create a recipe page. But if you already have some PLR, and you have like recipe templates, we can just reuse those. So how to do that is come up to your home page here or your home tab. Then on the ribbon up here, you will see something called reuse slides. So we click on this and then you'll see a browse button. So you just go into your computer and you find your recipe templates. Like if you have some of my simple templates with the recipes, you can go get those. And then you're gonna open them. And then you'll see here, it's showing you all the different slides that are in that file. So I'm just gonna go find a recipe one. So let's do uh, this one here. So all you do is be on the side that where you want this to uh, appear and then just click on it. And then you'll see all, it's right there in your file for you. Okay, and then all you'd have to do is just come in and edit this template so we can just so we want to get rid of the lines here. Let's just delete the lines here. And you can go in and change the color. So if we wanted to keep this with the browns, let's go and find the text colors. And then we can always use that blue that we were using over here. We might want that a little darker. We can always go and change that. So you can come in and change all the colors and then it would just be a matter of um, bringing the ingredients over, which again, you can copy and paste for now into the ingredients and stick it on the line. Then you just have to play with the size of the text a little bit. And again, you can change the font. And I would just move this here like that. So you just copy and paste everything in here, put in the title. Let's paste that in here and then just move it up here. And then you could put in icons if you wanted to. Um, you can actually insert icons from PowerPoint right here. Let's see what cooking ones that they have. Just wait while it loads a second. Okay, so then you can load the icons and then I just did a quick search for food. Um, you can just either go through all of them or just see which ones that you wanted. And you could just scroll down here. I don't even know if I have a peanut butter one, peanuts. Maybe peanut butter and banana you could do. I have a nut. Uh, coffee beans. Anyway, you could just pick any, we could just pick the chef icon. I don't see offhand a nut, unless I'm just missing it. Oh, maybe that's a peanut right there. So you let's go with this one. So you just click the one that you want, insert it, and it's going to insert into your document. And we could just put that up here on the side maybe. And then if you wanted to, we could just change the color of the graphics because this is a graphics uh, format. So it's an SVG file and then come into here, the graphics outline, and you could change any color that you wanted to in there. So you've got that to just make your uh, page a little different. Um, and then you would just come in here and just put in all the directions. Um, if you wanted to, we could, let's just uh, get out of that one. And so 
we want the So then if you wanted to, we could just paste, copy all of this. Um, well, probably, the easy, yeah, just trying to think these, because you could copy it all. Copy and paste it on top here. And then we'd have to, you know, that might not work, because you'd have to really put this down. But I wanted just to show you some ideas. So we could come in the background here. That might be better there. So you'd have to just take the um, transparency down to get that kind of effect, or you just keep it neat and clean with something like this and then the different uh, recipes that you want to put in there. So then you can just uh, duplicate this page and just add lots of other ones. And then the same thing, if you were going to um, just do this from scratch, it's just tables and blocks and shapes that you would put in there. Let's just delete that slide. And then this one too, again, we could, you know, go back and change the uh, background just to keep everything uh, the same here. So let's just go to the pictures again, hide everything. So if you wanted to, uh, we could just um, yeah, design. This would be a format background. So this is just a picture that we uploaded. So if you don't want that there, you can change it to a texture which might work here, something like that. Um, and then play with the transparency to make it light, but then you just get like a little wrinkled paper type of effect. And then you could, you know, uh, take all of this and paste it over. Yeah, or you can just do it directly from here and then just um, put everything back on again. So let's go back to this one and then, and then you can just add in everything there. So take that one out and then you can just, as you see things come up, you can kick them or you can just remove them. And that's what we did on that one here. So that's how you can make it different again. Or, and then the text, if you want to, again, you might just want to make that, that light brown color that we've been using it stands out a little bit more. So you could change uh, this up like that, change images again. So that would be that one there. Because some of these two, there's lots of little different tips. So you could actually make a page that is like um, cleaning tips. Um, cleaning tips for peanut butter, for hair treatments, and could, or just like personal use type of um, uses for peanut butter. It can help to take st sticky things off of the surfaces. So, so probably be good for your kitchen counters. And then with this one here, this is like the benefits of pe uh, peanut butter for health. So again, we could just come in and change this background color. And you just do that from here. You want to keep the brown. Let's go a little lighter for that. Maybe let's do that yellow color. And then you can see that that changes the look of it as well. And then here, the shape format, again, you could change the outline to make it different. So we could make it thicker. And then we could come back and put the dashes in. Or if you like that sketched outline that we used before, we can put that in there as well. It's just to, you know, to, so you were keeping everything nicely throughout all of the templates here. Um, yeah, and then there's different types of journal page layouts. So you can just have the um, regular one here, or if you wanted to, we can come in, change the lines up here. This is your choices here. So if we wanted more of a dashed one, and then just remember to just go inside borders and it will just change everything for you in one go. And then you could make different colors on here. And then if you wanted to, we could just make a column and then just copy paste, paste it over here and then oops, just move it. So now you've got two columns. Uh, another one is just to uh, make this smaller. Let's go halfway is just delete those, so just delete the rows. This one too, just up to here. 
So you can delete the rows and then if you wanted to, you can have them the same, you can have them different, they don't have to be the same. And then you could go to a copy and paste. Move that one. One there, copy this one. Move that down here, just line up the tops. And then you could come in and change the colors. So again, table design to change the colors, the shade in, let's put that yellow in that one. Maybe put the darker brown in here. So you can do something like that just to make the look of our fix change again, or you can go a little lighter with the color. But that gives you lots of different ideas of what we can do with this. So you could turn this into a journal, you could turn it into a peanut butter um, recipe book. And the search term actually, peanut butter lovers, is actually quite easy to rank for if you have a blog that's been around maybe a year and you've got a good number of um, blog posts on it, you should be able to uh, rank for peanut butter lovers um, and you can put journal, PLR, or whatever you want on the end of it. You should be able to rank for that quite easily. So I'll have a look for some other terms like peanut butter um, cookies are another good one and two ingredient uh, peanut butter cookies um, is another good keyword that you could use as well. So that's a look at the peanut butter lovers uh, file for the November pack. So I hope that's given you some lots of tips of what you can do with this and you can apply these same principles to the other uh, templates in this month's pack as well. And if you have any questions, please just let me know. Thank you. And again, it was Sue from Create for Printables Journals.